Okay, if you look close here, you can see that is a ground rod. Now, it's only in the ground about two feet. We've had a recent rain, so the ground's really wet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 120 volts into that ground rod. And I've got a cord that runs from the other side of the 120 volts. I got the positive side hooked up to the cord, the negative side hooked up to the uh, ground rod. And I'm going to go about 200 feet. Then I'm going to see if I have power at the other end. Okay, here I'm at the other end of this whole circuit I've made up. I have a, an earth ground, a very large earth ground in here, goes down about six or seven feet. And I've hooked it up through my funky little stuff here. Now I've hooked this to both sides. This yellow wire here is coming from the power source, my 120 volt power source. Now remember, this is a DC power source. This is an electric car. It has 120, usually 125 volts on it, but it's completely isolated from any other voltage. So, I have taken one side of it, and this yellow wire is going to uh, out to the the car that has a direct connection to one side of the line in the car. The other side goes to the ground rod. So, is there any uh, power? Can I can I actually use this for power? Well, now we're going to find out. Now, what I've got is like a 60 watt light bulb here, and you know it's just no trouble light. I have this side right here. This is going to the uh, earth ground here, 200 feet away. The other one is the yellow one is down there is going to directly over to the car. Now you see the light's not lit. Okay, I can switch it either way. Doesn't make any difference. I can see I've got it plugged in, and yay, the light works. Okay. So, what did that tell me? It told me I can't use an earth ground as one line. Now, I, there are people who do this, there are power systems that do it and so on like that. But, if I put 120 volts into the ground on one side and try to take that power out 200 foot away, it's not going to work. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go out there and I'm going to pound that ground rod farther down. Remember, this is very wet ground. It just got finished raining uh, yesterday. Okay, you can see the ground rod there. And it's about three feet out of the ground. Okay, if you wanted any deeper than that, you got to go look at Mike Holtz. He, he went down 50 feet. But, uh, okay. I'm going to show you again what the voltage is we have out here. I know this is a little hard to follow because there's lots of wires here. Let's take a look right here. Okay, I have this yellow wire here. It goes to the cord that's going 200 feet over. Now I've got a probe from a meter there and show it gives me one side of line. Okay, here's my other side that I put on the ground rod, and I've got a voltmeter, the other voltmeter probe there. Okay, my voltmeter probe showing 128.4 volts DC. Okay, now I'm going to go back in and I'm try my light bulb thing again. Okay, here now I'm showing the voltage I'm reading. I'm taking the one cord, the line from the cord that I've got hooked up to the battery and the uh, a hookup to a earth ground on this side. 
Okay, I'm showing 127.8, which is pretty close to what I showed before. I showed 128. So I've got voltage there. But do I have amperage? That's what I'm going to use the light for. Okay, I've got my light hooked up again. Same way I hooked it up before. One line is going straight out to the battery, one side of the battery on the electric car. And the other one is going through the ground, through the ground rod, which is now put in about six feet down. And uh, my other end I hooked on to a really good solid uh, earth ground 200 feet away. Will a light light? No. So, what's that tell me? I'm not going to move a lot of power through ground. Now, if I raise the voltage, if I put, you know, say 600 volts into it, it might. Okay, I'm putting my meter back on there. I'm reading 128.2 right now. Okay, so I do read it, but is there the capacity to get any real amperage through the ground? From what I've done, no. However, there are power systems that do this. Australia has some single wire power systems. But of course they're using much higher voltage and I don't know exactly what they're doing. There were telegraphs that used one wire and used the ground for the other side. Uh, one thing about telegraphs, it was a very small current that was necessary uh, to make the relays actuate and they use higher voltage also. So if I have 120 volts to earth ground, that does not mean it's a dead short. I'll never kick a breaker with earth ground. I could take an earth ground and run it straight to the breaker and it will not kick it. The only time it will kick it is if the earth ground is also hooked to the neutral. Okay, uh, I guess I'll prepare for all the complaints I'll get on this one, but uh, that's what I found.